With the increase in demand for new housing, the challenge is to devise more time and cost-effective methods of construction. Foundation engineering company Roger Bullivant Limited has developed revolutionary processes for giving buildings and infrastructure a firm footing in all types of geological conditions. As Jonathan Gibson reports, their innovative and safety-focused approach is opening up opportunities for a range of specialist skills. At this housing development near Stoke-on-Trent, the first new homes are taking shape using foundations designed, made and installed by Roger Bullivant, RB. The company's in-house design team has developed an innovative modular foundation system which can be tailored to different types of buildings and structures in most ground conditions. It's a pile, it's a cap, it's a beam, piles are installed first and they're capped to, to provide a landing platform for precast beams which are lifted in on site to allow follow-on trees to, to build the building immediately afterwards. With the expertise in-house, we, we, uh, we know what we're doing, uh, we know what we've put in the ground because we've designed it. At the company's Midland storage and manufacturing facility, one million metres of precast concrete piles will be produced this year to fulfil 2,000 jobs for clients. And those preformed modular components are then brought onto site effectively as a kit of parts to form the foundations. It's safer, it's more efficient, and it's less labour intensive. Nick Seddon works for St Modwin, one of those clients. He says the modular system provides a quick, clean and environmentally sustainable solution, using much less raw material than traditional excavated foundations. They're basically self-sufficient. Right. As long as we give them a flat site, they get, what you see here is what they hand over to us. A number of years ago, uh, we went out to the market. Uh, we partnered with Roger Bullivants to give us a precast solution. Uh, and we've kept that partnership going for the last three years. They consistently give us the best product, they consistently give us a service, and the price are competitive. Providing great service and price depends on having the most up-to-date and reliable equipment. This is the first of three new hammer rigs commissioned and built in-house. It's operated remotely and will be able to start work within a few minutes of unloading. We try and tailor our machinery specifically for our products enables us to put smaller, lighter and quicker machines out there because that's what we need them to do. We don't need to have a fleet of fitters with the vans and tools and everything that goes with it, dismantling and uh, erecting machinery. Uh, we can be on site, we can do a one-day job and it's economical for us. Maintaining that competitive edge also depends on attracting and retaining the right kind of people. The company says it has a strong family ethos, underpinned by initiatives like Keep Me Safe. It's a pledge card workers carry to remind them safety comes first. Aaron Haslam is one of the company's first generation of graduate trainees. Two years in, he's loving his job. Every one of the people I've worked under so far have said, I wish I had that opportunity when I started out. I think it gives you the best overall view of a business. It gets, gives you an insight into each individual area and you find very quickly that you're able to use your knowledge from one area in another area and actually improve the business and it's something recognised within Roger Bullivant at the moment. We don't just want to be seen as a house foundation player. You know, we are a player that are very specialist in what we can do. We have some great skills, great geotech engineers and great engineers and young graduates coming through the business that are special, very special people. And we want to give them an opportunity to diversify our business and do a myriad of different things. And that strategy to build a broader portfolio already extends beyond house foundations to commercial developments, rail projects, even public art installations. So I've done the, the statue of Gandhi in Parliament Square, and we're also looking at the London Design Festival the Alex Chinnock bullet from a shooting star. We will look at anything that is foundation-led because if it's specialist, we're usually very good at it.